In this video, I'm going to share an interesting example of a blade stock manufacturing failure in my Kershaw Chive, as well as share my experience working with KaiUSA's warranty service. The Chive is a Ken Onion Design Made in USA small frame lock flipper with a 410 stainless steel handle and a 420HC stainless steel blade. 420HC is a blade steel which in my opinion borders on an inferior steel. The HC designates a higher carbon content, but not comparatively speaking a high carbon content. This is a common misunderstanding perpetuated on, for example, Amazon's product page for the chive. A higher percentage of carbon theoretically gives a higher degree of wear resistance, but really it's a cheap steel to manufacture and can be acquired in large rolls and they're easy to blank and stamp out. This steel is best known as Buck's standard blade material and it's well regarded in the knife community because of Buck's proprietary heat treating process that it undergoes. With Buck the Rockwell hardness comes out at RC58. Now Kershaw has their own heat treating process which in my experience isn't as good as Buck's and this knife doesn't hold an edge particularly well. Now obviously on a number of different knife designs, the thumb studs are actually part of the locking mechanism and function as a blade stop. And that's true on this knife. There's actually an indentation in the frame for the thumb stud. So this is the first time I've seen something like this in any of Kershaw's assisted openers. Is the problem with a poorly milled blade blank? Or is the problem with the way that the stop pin was set? I suppose there's precise equipment that could ascertain exactly what the problem was, but obviously I don't have access to that. In lieu of this, what do you think the problem was? At any rate, I sent this blade off to Kershaw. This is my first warranty request with them, and overall Kershaw has a reputation of taking care of their warranty issues, so I was optimistic. There is a form to fill out, and you have to send the knife in with a box. They do specify on the form that there's a $10 broken blade replacement fee, which I was curious to see if they would charge me since this is obviously not a typical broken blade. I sent it off on January 28th. I just uh, received it back on February 22nd, and the blade was sharpened, but interestingly the cracks present at the thumb stud on the blade still remained. So at this point I emailed customer service and explained what happened. They had me send them some pictures, in fact the ones you're seeing in this video. It took them about a day to get back to me, but when they did they asked me if I wanted my blade replaced or if I just wanted a new knife. So obviously I took the latter. My new chive arrived in the mail last week and as you can see it was pristine, so we have a happy ending. But not one without some open questions as I discussed earlier. Have you had any similar experiences of a blade cracking at the blade stop? I'd be interested in hearing about it. So thanks very much for watching, any comments you might have, and of course for your subscription. With Kershaw's Speed Safe. Uh.